Hey guys, my name is Jess. I'm on my alt account, and we're gonna be doing a um, a farming run. Now, there's two things about this. Number one, you need to have access to the green and yellow balls, because the yellow one gives you 100% chance against certain pals that we will be capturing, such as the Dumuds and the Cows. And then, where, what in the world, what, what? Oh, are we at the wildlife? We are, okay. And then the second one is that it would be, it's not mandatory, but it is ideal to have your base located uh, in the Anubis region. This way it's fast, fast barns. So we have one base located in the Anubis region. And this one is my actual farming-ish base. I kind of uh, made it on the fly. It was supposed to be my skyline. A uh, little sneak peek of the skyline. This is the skyline. And I had a base over here as well. The coal, but now that I have plenty of coal, I don't really need to worry about it. And I still have some more coal there. So yeah, this is my base. Um, this is the skyline. And it's also my food base. So, that being said, let me just deposit all this stuff and then we're gonna get right into it. And you already see some bits of it. Got the attack food now, finally. Let me um, just deposit the stuff. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, so, this region, right here, the Anubis region, you have access to Dumuds. These give you slightly high-end food. Right now, I finally accessed it, and this is it. This gives you 50% work speed food. Save this food for the pals that have the, that will be doing base work, like a lot of base work, okay? You don't have access to it here. You don't have any access to it. You don't have any access to the elk thy deer food either. This one, the Loco Moco. This gives you 20% attack. In addition to the Bazaritas. Okay, so that's why they're imperative to have. I believe this gives 20% or 10% work speed. I don't remember. This gives 30%. And the Grode Lamble also gives some sanity and a fat chunk of uh, stats, nutrition, and whatnot. So, we're going to be doing the run where we're going to have five pals in this region. Mazarina, uh, sorry, the Masanda Lux region, Eastern Wild Island. I made a video on this previously, so click the link in that in the description or on screen about it. Uh, for my all the foods, all best foods and whatnot. So, for mid, late, and um, for early, mid, and late game. Now! The Eastern Wild Island has five pals known as the Elk Thy Deer, the Lambos, the Chickpeas, the Capritis, and the Rush Ore. They all have some pretty valuable foods, except for the Capritis. Capritis are kind of just, you know, if they're there for a reason, right? And they're this food, and this is all you can get out of it, the cooked version. The Rush Ore, you get the bacon and eggs. Oops, that's not it. Rush Ore is bacon and eggs, and you can kind of use it for the defense food as well if you have an abundance of lettuce and whatnot but it costs two lettuce and it's not worth using to be honest you can you should save the lettuce for this food specifically okay the grilled lambel or the herb lambel is is good i prefer the grilled lambel because this is also very good for the uses of lettuce fried chickpea so this is one two three four and then pretty five for the eastern islands and then this region right here you'll see some dumas down there or on this side, oops, don't need that handgun there. You can see some Dumuds down here somewhere. Whoa, there's a, t wait, oh, that's, is that my guy? That's my guy down there. Um, and then you have Dumuds here, so that's six. And over here you have Brown Cherry, that's seven. And then you have Gale Clark, that's eight. And then for the ninth one, you have Mazara Mazanda. Alright, the Mazandas, the cows, right here, for that's nine. And then the tenth food you can get from pals is right here in the Azurobe region, which is the, uh, whatever they're called, the Kelpsies. Right, so you have access to ten foods that you can utilize. And we're going to be do showcasing the method. And then these three, these four foods, one, two, three, four, are great for sanity and work speed. These two specifically, pizza and salad, both give work speed. This is for sa just for eating purposes, defense purposes, and then you got the mushrooms. So technically there's 11 if you include the mushrooms, and then obviously 3 more, 4 more if you include the other foods. But yeah, so I recommend having like a, a fire rate weapon. Actually, I need to buy more ammo. Let's hope that this guy still has, or I have money that can afford it. So I got 87k. I can maybe make... A couple more. 
I don't have the sales team just yet. So there is that issue. But yeah, so we're gonna try, we're gonna go for the Dumuds first since my base is already here. <clears throat> we're gonna use the yellow balls. Preferably the green, the red balls are better, but because they cost cement and I don't have cement, it's not gonna be too good. Why are the Lovanders still here though? Hello? Oh my god, this thing's still here. Is there a pal over here? Or did I kill it already? Oh, I think they killed it actually. Yeah, so there's the Dumuds right there. We're gonna go straight for it and watch this. Yellow is not working, but now it's 100%, and you gotta do that for as many of them as you can. Eventually, you're gonna have access to much better weaponry, and like the handgun can work sometimes, but you gotta aim for the head, because okay, it costs like four shots for you to reach 100%. Right, three shots rather, but still. So that's why I like to use the rifle itself. So we got three pals, three of them. Oh, we got another one. What? Oh no, stay away from those guys. They're sleeping though, but still no. And then we just w wander around the map, looking for some of them. Oh my god, I missed. Not that long of ammo, or rather reloading. It's pretty good rifle itself. It takes a bit of time to reload, but... Nonetheless, these foods are very good. HQ pal oils as well, although... Farming your own pal oils is much better than manually doing it. And so yeah, now we have access to 88 of them. I have times 3 spawn. So keep that in mind. Was that a pal? What is he doing here? Dude just watched all of his homies go down in flames. You see, and then I'm back at the base. And that's why it's good to have a base here. Right, and then you can easily just start making the foods. Boom. Easy peasy. Very easy for this one. So that was the Dumuds. Now we're gonna go over to this region. Actually, what is the time looking at? So we are just approaching dawn. So now we go over to the Relaxosaurus Investigator Fork area. And I kind of just roam around the area, see if I can find some Galclar. And normally it's up north from the Galclar. Oh, sorry, from the Relaxosaurus area. And then if you have like a riding mount, it'd be good. I don't have a riding mount because I only use my glider most of the time and watch this to see how fast we are going. Oh, just hope we don't hit any any trees along the way. And then we just go up north and see if we can find some Gale Claw because they do spawn in this region. Our socks. Montessaurus, Univolts, yeah this is the region where they all spawn up here so we got some right here. Now these guys are quite a pain to take down. Oops, I missed and you see I only got 44% on that so that could be bad for us. I don't really come here that much though in comparison to the other places. Now once you have like a riding mount or a flying mount it's much more cost efficient. Because you don't have to waste these ammos. Oops, the bullets on them. I thought there was another one, I guess not. I hear it. Oh, there's more over here. Also, if you have like a pal that has mercy hit, I don't think any of these have mercy hit, so I have to... Oops, I have to breed one that has mercy hit. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, come on. Oh, my shield. Yeah, now we're getting all the attention of all the other pals, these univolts. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Hopefully they start a turf war with the Gale Claw instead of me. You see, oh, right on the noggin. Oh, okay, we're a public enemy number one. Get me out of here. I would gladly take this, though. Ooh! Uh-oh. We got a skedaddle, man. We got a skedaddle. So how many guild claw did we get? We only got 36 out of that, so it wasn't that great, but you get the idea. Now we can just get out. These aren't the most uh, optimal, I'd say, in terms of foods, but if you're in the area, by all means, go for it. You know what I mean? Okay, and then we did not find any brown cherry, however, which is fairly odd. They're, they're from this region, by the falls, Aesthetic Falls up to the Relaxosaurus Lux region, in addition to down southeast by the Swordsman, so... 
we might be able to find some, but you know, I'm only gonna spend maybe about a minute on this section and see if we find any. Yeah, by the Barn Cherry Aqua, which I have yet to do. I don't like doing the bosses until I have access to a lot of other stuff. And is this an alpha? No. But yeah, so here is the Barn Cherry. Uh oh. Okay, we need to get out of here. These guys are gonna like one shot me. Okay, now we're gonna go over here by the sealed realm of the swordsman, which is also known as Bushi, by the way. Just keep heading southeast, and we should be seeing some cows. There should be some cows over here, actually. Yeah, just over yonder. Should be like down here. There's multiple spawns. That could have been a cow. This could right here could be. Oh, could be a cow, but there's no cow over here. That's weird. It's because this guy's here. Ah, oh, got the cottontails instead. Maybe down here, nope. Over here, up here, possibly. No. Very unlucky thus far. Sometimes the yep, here they are. Right next to these rocks along that maple tree. I don't know if that's a maple tree, but you see how these are not 100%. But if we take out the... Do I have any handgun ammo? Doesn't look like it. Hey, where'd they go? Come back here, you. You scallywags. Oh god dang it. <clears throat> hey, no! No, my cow! Oh. Well, you get the idea. Oh, a philanthropist. Maybe I'll take it. Oh, are they turf warring? Bro. You want to fight me, not him. So I can take your meat. Thank you. And then what I do with these cows is, once again, I condense them. I condense all these cows except for the raw ones. We're talking capris and the brown cherry meats. I don't do this one. All right. Let's see if we can spot some more. Uh, I'm gonna head a little bit more north to the river area. Yeah, right here. Oh, wrong one. A bit farther up. Actually, this could be some of those. Nope, dire howls. That could have been it. And then over here, yeah, that could have been it too. The Kelpsy. Now these are also not 100%. This is where the the handgun comes into play, but we only have one bullet left of that, so we gotta make these shots count. Unless I had like a sword or something, which I don't. What the? How'd that shot miss? Hello? You see what I mean. The food, these foods aren't that great overall. The chickpeas and the lambos are the best in terms of easy access, in addition to being able to um, provide some sustenance. Like, because kelp seafoods, you kind of need other ingredients, like a lot of ingredients. So it's always best to being able to four star them first so that they can just provide the power fluids. And then put them into the assembly line. Now take a look at the assembly line. All the way down here, 54. So we got a long way to go. 11 more levels? 13 more levels? I don't know. You see how these are the top notch fruits, except for this one. This one's okay. I just like it for the stats. But look at that egg flour. Flour takes three wheat, so you put that into perspective, and you know, you're not looking at you're not looking too good. Right, so I always use the trashy ones until I can afford getting new ones, which I actually might be able to make new ones. No, I need some more charcoal and ingots! Uh, okay, let me grab the circuit boards then. Because my other base has the ingredients for this. I need ingots and charcoal, and then I'll make two of them over at the other base, and then I'll make... The, and then I'll just move them over here. Uh, so just give me a moment. Okay, I should be able to make it here. Apparently not. What happened to him? I refined it. Okay, here it is. I just need to make another furnace is all. I guess I can put it here. Chris Bolt! I mean, I should have plenty of these ingots in here. I mean, the charcoal. What the heck? Where's my charcoal? Hello? Alright, well, I can just make them in here then. The one, two, and then three. I'll destroy them and then I'll just make them at my other base. 
my pristine cooking base. Okay, and now you can make all of the foods that you want. Put that in there. Come on, guys, make the same one, buddies. Alright, now we can make the kelpsy. Load that in. Okay, and this gives work speed, Bart. Do we need work speed? Not really. Not, at least not now. We're gonna uncheck this. Boom. And then we're gonna rock the next five foods over here. Elk, Capriti, Lamble, um, Rush Ore, and... Wait, there's supposed to be five. Elk, Capriti, Rush Ore, Lamble, and Chickpea. Yeah, so five. Last five over there. And we already caught... Uh, Kelpsy, we caught cows, brown cherry, gale claw, one, two, three, four, five, or uh, four, and then five over here, and then, um, I, I think I said mushrooms or something, but yeah, here's the brown cherry, and then we always deposit this one, this one we can also deposit, then you see it here, how we divvied it up, certain foods go in here, Ingredients, ingredients, right? Raws go in there always. Okay, so that's more cake. And voila! Easy! Easy peasy. Okay, and we are just about to hit dark. So I'm gonna put my bed down and go to sleep for a bit. So that we can, um, skedaddle into the daylight because I have my day and night on max so I can get maximum amounts of uh, skill fruits at all three of my bases. I could have done four bases with skill fruit honestly but no. Okay over here in the eastern wild island like I said before we're gonna hunt for the five pals. Elk, Lambo, Chickpea, Rush Ore, and Capritis. Not really Capritis. You don't have- if you do if you see a Capriti and you don't want to capture it you don't have to. It's just uh it's just a uh, Nah, I hit a tree, but it's just a little thing that you could do. Yep, here's some Lambos. I'm gonna use the green balls. Let me see. Let's see. Very simple to capture. Oops, that one wasn't 100%. And if it becomes troubling, then you can just punch them. Give them a little punch, one and two, you know, here and there. The chickens are guaranteed 100% always unless you're like incredibly low leveled and haven't had any, any, um, lift monks. There's more chickens. I love the chickens. These are so perfect for being able to, um, get some early game food, especially when you make them into dishes. Look at this dude. He's just chilling. Not anymore. Yeah, see these guys aren't 100%. Gotta give him a tiny little punch. These guys definitely on 100%, but now they're close to 100%, so that's why I okay, gotta get that rifle out. But uh, this is why I said that, oh. that you might not need these guys, because they don't give you that good of meats. If you take a gander, it's 50 versus the cooked, which is 100. I mean, sorry, 80. So it's not, it's not, it's not the most ideal. So you don't really have to go by that. So now I just prioritize the chickens. It's only if you have the balls, and if you can afford, you know, 100%. If. It's a big fat... Oh, excuse me. It's a big fat if. But that's pretty much all the pals in this area. Well, we just need to look for some more elk. And some rush ore, perhaps. No, no rush ore, it seems like, which is really odd. Maybe we can force the spawn. Just do a little rotato. I got some lambos. I'll take some lambos. Ah! Oh! Early game balls are still annoying to get, so gotta play it smart. There are the elks. You look here; it's 78. So these are the ones that you kind of want to respect and try to really get. It doesn't matter if you get give them body shots or head shots, as long as you can get them. Hit them so that they stop moving. You can try to force a shot in. Like that. But lots of times, like, I've failed. Uh, oh. um, where are you, buddy? I missed. Mm -hmm. One, 
too. AOE right there. Boom. With a boom. 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 We got some chickens right here. I'm willing to spend a good 20 or so balls on these guys. Guarantee my um my food and whatnot. So we have pretty, we have elk, which is the attack. This is useless. This is um defense or sanity drain. Where's the trick we go? And this is sanity or work speed. And yeah, you know, the foods matter a lot. Um for the base pals. Okay, I guess the wakelet solver over there. Yeah it is. And sometimes they spawn down there. I have yeah, they spawn down there as well. I don't really go down there though. Cause it's kind of a hassle to come back up without a flying mount. If you rock the the toad, the frog thing, it'll you can you can really climb up pretty darn fast. Um, but yeah, and then we go back to the food base, and I'm actually gonna make some more ranges <clears throat> since I can afford to. Do I have any materials? No, I don't. You see, my transfer pals will take care of the rest. As you can see right there, I need to make uh, the transfer pals. I mean the uh, the food. And well, let me just see what kind of um. Oh, do mud. I'll take a I'll take a big big mean do mud. Might need a red ball on this. Ooh, you're a little feisty there. Let's try for 70, and I need to get some more dig toys too. What is that guy doing over there? Let's see what kind of... Oh, he's Musclehead Lucky. That is a horrible combo. Let's try and get a few more of these dig toys. I think there should be one more. Guess not. Anyways, yeah. Let's pull it up a bit more. There we go. Back at the ranch. Back at the ranch. Hey, wait. What's up with these these beds? I thought I had more. As you can see, as you can see, we have access to the thirty percent work speed now. And look at that. It only costs fifty. It only costs one HQ, one egg, and one flower, which is beautiful. Okay. And then these ones. Where is my? Which is should have been this one. This one shouldn't. Oh, okay, guys. This one. This one is my. Whatever. And so for my attack ones, the stat ones, I always toggle it off. Like this one, I toggle off. I'll cook this for a boost in nutrition. And, um, yeah. Oh, snap. Whatever. I'll put that in my, um, my thing. My fridge. At the, at, back at the home base. And I'm gonna get out of this area so that I can stop listening to this battle music all the time. So yeah, that is all of the foods. Now, if I did have a Sakurajima base... Okay, good, I'm not listening to that music again. If I did have a Sakurajima base, I would have made it mushroom dedicated. Let's probably can actually make it there, dang it. There we go. I would actually make it mushroom dedicated. Where is my freezing pal? He's not freezing when he should be freezing. Let's see if we can find him. Here he is, my fatty. Good old guy person. Okay, we don't need you yet. I, I guess I took out my ice guy, huh? I mean, we can always do a chill it. I always think that Quiverns, <laughs> Quiverns look like they're ice, but they're not. Oh, damn, we have SIs. SI and SM? Why are these not flavored? I'm trying to make a good, uh, good looking guy. Good looking pal. Yeah, this is MS. We're a bunch of these guys as well. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Yeah, so we have a lot of pals that we're gonna be able to. Chuck into the the dumpster rather soon. Oh, snap, he's nocturnal. Damn, two of the good ones. Well, except for Lucky. Lucky is not optimal anymore. Alright, so that is the video on my farming run. I'm sorry that it went a little bit longer, but you get the idea. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.